So we've asked people in a whole lot of contexts, why don't you use the internet? And in some ways, and why don't you use broadband? In some ways, that's an unfair question. I mean, think about yourself. If you were asked, why don't you do something? The answer is, well, you know, I haven't thought about it, don't know about it, whatever it is. Uh, but it's, it's, the answers have been revealing because we sort of walk people through some possible options about why they haven't done it. And these are some of the answers we get. Sorry, the slide is a little bit small. But, uh, you know, at the top of the list, when we ask this open-ended question, a fifth of people say, just not interested. Now, if you talk to them what that really means, sometimes that does um, fall back on, I don't know how to use it, or I'm not real confident with it, or I don't feel like I um, have the support from my friends or others in my personal network to get me through the mechanisms of doing this. Um, a, a bunch of people don't have computers. A bunch of people just think it's too difficult and frustrating. They've used the internet before and have withdrawn from it because it just didn't serve their needs and it also was an annoyance in one way, shape, or form. So at the bottom of this slide, you'll see we sort of bunched up these open-ended answers into a variety of categories. And um, in America, uh, relevance is the, is the top, mo and, and usability are the top most issues. And where, by relevance, we mean people will say, I just don't know what it would be good for. You know, I like printed material. I like my old landline telephone. I like my, you know, television, and uh, and I don't necessarily know what this would add to my life. This is a this is not new. When people don't adopt technology, and when there have been studies of this going back to the 1930s, this is a, a common refrain. I like the stuff that I've got now. I can afford the stuff I've got now. I know how to work it into my life, and I don't know what I'd get with this extra increment of connectivity or, or technology or something like that. Often, these people are enormously literate and knowledgeable about the problems of internet connection. So they will talk about predators, and they will talk about porn, and they will talk about disinformation or bad information. And they'll talk about bad actors who can kill your computer in one mistaken keystroke or something like that. But they can't necessarily, don't necessarily know that you know, the highest quality health information is available to, to them online. The best high quality news is available online. They have one of the best ways to interact with government is online. And so they, they know a lot about what problems would arise in their life if they were connected, and they know a lot less about some of the benefits that they could get. So in, in a way, if, you, if you're in the business of public education, that's a, that's a real opportunity for you uh, to make sure that people know that the best quality stuff is also there with all of the, all of the concerns that people have about access. Usability is a, is a much more sort of tech literacy kinds of, um, kinds of things. I don't know how to use these tools. I don't have friends who can help me coach me through. We, we get a lot of, um, actually I'll have a slide in a minute about a lot of people talk about if I, when I get a new device, when I get a, any new thing in my life, even like the, the app that, that, that we're being offered today, I just, I need a friend to help me set it up. I, I can't do it on my own. It just, it's, it's too hard.